Hello there dear friends. So in this part of the video I'll be walking you guys on how to set up Strapi CMS uh, as our backend for this particular project. So in order to uh, download and install and set up uh, strapi.io CMS we're going to be using the command uh, from uh, Strapi's website and we're just going to be just going to be copying from it and just going to be pasting the command right here and the command will be able to uh, run and install the, uh, the dependencies that we're going to be fetching from from Strapi CMS. So let's go. Let's open our browser. Okay. So in our browser, we're going to be searching for Strapi.io. So once the page is loaded, as you can see here, there is a command that you can actually copy from. Just click on copy to clipboard. So what it does here, you got you're able to paste this command into our project. So just going to be pasting it like this. And of course, we're going to be just renaming my project, my project, I'll be just changing the name to uh, Strapi and clicking enter. So what it does now is that it will be installing all the dependencies that I actually fetched from this particular uh, Strapi.io CMS. So that's what we'll be doing. And of course, we're going to be choosing quick start recommended Of course, you're just going to leave it for a, a couple of minutes here. So because it will be taking some time and uh, let's get back once all of these particular dependencies and packages has been installed and there you go guys so as you can see here we have already installed all the dependencies that are actually coming from strapi cms so as you can also see here we also happen to find a new folder you have just created here called strapi here and this is what we'll be we should be having here and let's go to our localhost double three seven so as you can see here you are able to open up this particular localhost one double three seven this right after you have uh, successfully uh, installed and downloaded uh, your Strapi CMS into your local project. So right now you must be able to uh, create an account like this. For example, I already have a couple of accounts that I've created here. So all you have to do is just create an account and, and click on let's start. And there you go. Right after you have clicked on last start button, you'll be able to come to this particular dashboard uh, for your Strapi CMS where you are able to go through every single uh, tools that are actually provided by Strapi. As you can see here, you have to have like a first uh, tool at the, at the top here. It's called Content Manager where you are able to manage your content. And as you can see here, this is where you are able to create new entry, create uh, for, like create like yeah document or create data and and etc. So what I want to do, I like to go to uh, Content Type Builder. And as you can see there, you can actually create create a new collection type. For example, I want to create, uh, yeah, this I want to create another new uh, collection. In this case, I want to call block, or you can also say as blocks because we are it's going to be a list of blocks. So this can say blocks like this. And I like to click on continue. Okay, as you can see here, this way it cannot be the same as the plural one. So it has to be singular. That's why it says singular. So just going to be saying block, and this is going to be this way you cannot be the same as a singular one. So that's why I put blocks. Okay, so can, now you can actually click on continue. And the next thing is that you you'll be able to fetch which which particular data field you'll be using. For example, of course we'll be using text, and that text is gonna be the title block title. Uh, yeah, the database format like this. No no spacing by the way. And click finish. And this is your first uh, data type which you have just created. And and let's you can actually add more uh, field to this particular. Uh, blocks uh, collection for example let's say i would like to add like a media for example we happen to have an image here so you can actually use image i mean yeah you can see also use something like this to like cover image so cover image will be used it will be used for images for in this case in this case best for sliders but this is meant for multimedia but i would like to go for simple single media that's what i will choose here and of course, we have, since we have block title, cover image, of course, we need to be having some simple uh, description. For example, I would like to say block description like this. So it's going to be short as well. And yeah, I think this is just would be enough. And you know, you know, I mean, we don't have to put ID because ID will, will by default will be included inside your JSON uh, data. So you won't be needing ID. So, so most of the thing you'll be needing is block title. The cover image and block description and of course you need to be having a uh, rich text editor with formatting options because this is where we will be actually making use of uh, the content of the block so I'll like say block content okay so I'll click finish and there you go you are now you could have a bunch of field 
this is just an initial field that you I've just created so that you're able to get started and we'll be adding more than this because we'll be we'll be need to add more details to our uh, database okay so thank you guys for watching till here because how to set up your your strappy CMS inside your react project so let's meet up in the next video till then thanks